What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Um, just a quick video today on, I am just ordered a race fit N can for my uh, 23 BMW S1000 Double RM Sport. That is a mouthful. Um, yeah, I've ordered a race fit Growler X to be specific, titanium etched. Um, just the N can. I can't remember if I said this before, but you may not may or may not remember if you do follow the channel. I, I had ordered a full Akupovic system from Tony at Parkit, um, but I canned it. I cancelled that order. A couple of reasons, really. Mainly money, to be honest. It was going to be, by the time it was fitted, three grand. Um, and I'm having an extension fitted on the side of the house, and it just timing didn't work with cash flow and one thing or another. Um, I just couldn't justify spending three grand on an exhaust, to be honest, when I've got a lot of other things going on in my personal life. So, I've been looking for um, an end cam for a while, and I've not really ridden the bike much either, but it's taken me some time. But I found uh, on YouTube, I looked up uh, various different end cams, and the race fit ones seem like, uh, for the ones that leave the cat on, the loudest. Uh, so I did a bit of research, anyway, I've ordered one, so uh, I'll do some unboxing with it in a second, but what I'm going to do is, I've got the bike here, this is my Suzuki, but here's the bike uh, with a standard can on still, so I'm going to um, do some sound tests uh, with a standard can, I'll start it up outside on the drive, I'll do some flybys um, and some comparisons and then I'll fit the race fit, I'll show you how to fit that. Apparently it's a 10 minute job, which for me could be two hours. Um, so we'll uh, we'll fit the exhaust and then what I'll do is I'll do some side by side comparisons. So I'll, I'll film um, the same flybys and the same cold starts, etc. with the race fit on and I'll, I'll edit them together so you can see them side by side and tell the difference. Um, yeah, so that should be an interesting video. I did that before on the uh, Panigale when I got the Acropovic system on that. That video went over quite well. Oh, quick dog update if anybody gives a shit. This is Rambo. Say hi, Rambo. Rambo is my currently seven-month-old Cane Corso puppy, would you believe? Um, he's a 40-odd kilogram puppy. <laughs> As winter, she's the best. She's my... German Shepherd, 15 months, and Arnie, he's my friend, she, he's not really, he's my daughter's. I get a lot of questions about, why have you got your dogs in crates, what what, what are they going to do when burglars come if they're in a crate? They're left open at night, crates are for dogs to chill, um, so yeah, don't worry. If you get into my garage, the crates will be open and it, it will be quite a bad day for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's crack on. Um, <coughs> Let's uh, let's open up the exhaust and then we'll um, we'll fit it and we'll, we'll do what I said basically. Catch you. So this is the race fit Growler X. I've had it titanium etched, not a sticker. Uh, this actually looks a really proper bit of kit. Look at the welds on that. It's really nice. For the money, this cost me 700 quid by the way. This is, um, yeah, very nice. All right, let's get it on. So. It couldn't be easy really, even from a numpty like me. You've just got to undo the clamp here, and then undo this here, and then the exhaust literally just slips off. And there you go, it just slips off as easy as that. Just give the old pipes a clean. So next you have to put some silicon sealer on. Around here, I'll put a little bit inside here as well. You don't use the clamp on these, the OEM clamp. OK, 
Okay, then we just literally slide her on. Wipe off this excess. Then we just have a clamp. Fits on the OEM. You have a nut and bolt. Use the original OEM bolt and the nut that comes with it. And they survive the supply you one with uh, the race fit. Next thing, clean it. Just to clean it, before you do anything and heat it up, clean all the fingerprints off, just standard WD-40. There you have it, very nice. This is only one more thing left to do. Right, so in race pro mode, it's not too bad. You get a few little pops and crackles. I think you can hear that or not. Yeah, you hear that. You get a few little pops and crackles on the overrun. But, it sounds like a hairdryer. <laughs> That's the only thing wrong with this bike, is the noise. Um, so let's do a few flybys with the standard exhaust now. too fast. I've ridden some really fast bikes and owned some really fast bikes but this is just a different thing. It requires a whole new calibration of the brain. Already, you can hear lots more pops and crackles and bangs, which is lovely. Listen, <laughs> I'm such a child. 
and it just sounds that little bit loud, hang on. So from inside the inside the helmet, the sound's nice. It's not obnoxious, like I said. It's just a, just a, a step louder. Those pots and crackles are way more though. Very nice. Right, let's go and um, go back to the same place, same condition, same equipment, same everything. Do the same flybys, but with this new Race Fit Growler X exhaust on. Everything I've done from a sound test point of view has, has been the ones outside the house and these flybys have all been exactly the same condition, the same settings, everything. Oh, it sounds nice. Just give it a bit of give it a bit of juice down here. Yeah. It's just a step louder. It's not mental obnoxious loud, but just a step louder, just what I wanted. Lovely. Very happy. Let's go see what these flyby sound like. Right, so just to end the video, just to summarise, uh, couldn't be happier, brilliant product, um, really well made, the welds look lovely, uh, the value for money is good, I told it cost 700 quid, but for the quality, the sound, really pleased, delivery was quick, took about a week, in fact actually John was uh, uh, apologetic because there was a, a minor delay, but still got here within a week, so he chucked me in like a key ring and some bits and bobs of freebies. Uh, oh, disclaimer, by the way, Racefit, I have no idea I'm making this video, I paid full price for it, there's no sponsorship, no freebies, no nothing, I say what I like about them, if it was crap, I'd say it was, but it's really good and pleased. Most important thing, you've heard the noise comparisons, I think um, for leaving the catalytic converter on, it gives you um, more noise than I thought it would actually, plenty, just enough. Uh, it's not obnoxious like if you would put a full system on it shouldn't give me any hassle on track days I'm going to one in a few days at Silverstone so I will um, let you know but really pleased with the noise much deeper sort of burbly you know pops and crackles uh, low down and then it's just a, a a good bit louder but not stupid so really really happy so uh, big thumbs up for race fit good product pleased with that thanks um, yeah alright hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one